Hey there, thanks so much for joining me for another tutorial. My name is Erin Eno and this is what we're painting for the fruit of the month for February. It's a little late because I've been under the weather, but better late than never. So grab your paint and let's get started. Before we get started, I'll just run through my materials for you. Today I'm using my um, Bao Hong Academy cold press watercolor paper. It's 140 pound, 100% cotton. I've trimmed it down to roughly five by seven. I've also taped it to a board. You don't have to, it's just a matter of preference. And I'll also be using my heat tool. So I like to tape it down because if you don't, it can go kind of wavy on you. I have my Van Gogh paints in my palette. I have a jar of water and a paper towel, and I have two brushes today. I'm using both of my Curry's brushes, one in a 2500 series size 10 round, and one in the 2400 series size six round. And you will also need a pencil and erase. And, oh, let me try that again. You will also need a pencil and an eraser because we're gonna draw this out before we paint. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one main blueberry right about here we're not doing huge a huge painting here so i'm not going to do massively sized blueberries i shouldn't have used that eraser kind of smudges things yeah let me try that again okay so and i think on this blueberry i'm going to show that kind of funny little blueberry hole, you know what I mean? That's on the ends of all the blueberries. Um, then I'm going to do, let's say another one kind of behind it, about here. And these don't have to be um, perfect circles. Let me try that one again. there and maybe one coming out behind here I don't want to do a whole bunch but just enough and one over there and I think that that's an even number I don't like even numbers so I'm going to do another one here but I think I'll put a leaf over this one. So it's kind of gonna be kind of partially covered by a leaf, I think. Then the stem, I'm just gonna have it kind of come off from over here and down to this main blueberry here. Okay, and then a stem going to this guy here. And I'll just do another kind of stem to make it look like there's another blueberry back there somewhere. And I'm going to draw a stem that's branching off of here. That's gonna have some leaves on it. Okay, so we'll do one leaf here. And blueberry leaves are just your basic leaf shape, just a pointed kind of oval like that. And maybe I will do one coming off here. that's gonna kinda cover that blueberry a bit. Okay, so just a simple leaf and then maybe another little one going behind this blueberry. And what the heck, let's do a little, another one for a hint of green up here. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to erase the lines that we don't need, which would be this one because it's behind this leaf, like that. And that extra line there. I'm also actually going to draw the little doohickey hole here on the edge of this leaf, but it'll be like a side view, okay? You don't have to draw that in. I just wanted to put it in there so you could see it. 
and that is going to be our little sprig of blueberries. So I'm just going to lighten this drawing with my kneaded eraser and then we can get on to painting. So because these blueberries aren't huge, I'm going to primarily be using my size six. And for the blueberries, I've got a mixture here already in my palette. It's uh, a bit of ultramarine blue. Actually, it's not a bit of ultramarine blue. It's ultramarine blue with a bit of Payne's gray in it, just so it's not so bright. Okay, and I'm going to start by taking most of the paint off my brush and just doing a light wash on all of the blueberries. Okay, so we've got our first layer down. Now while it's still wet, I want to take that same blue, okay, maybe a little darker, but not too much. Just a little more pigment on my brush. And while it's damp, I want to start tapping in some variations of that blue. Okay, so we're adding in some darker areas and I want it kind of patchy because we're trying to get that kind of dusty blue look that blueberries have. Okay, so we don't want to put too much pigment. We want to reserve a lot of that light area. Okay, like this one, I probably did it too deep. So I'm just going to re-wet it and blot some of it up with my paper towel. Just like that. Okay, so we're just tapping this in. And if it's kind of gone kind of dry on you, just clean off your brush, tap it off on your paper towel, and just kind of blend some of these out, but not so they're perfectly smooth because we want that kind of mottled look and we're just going to keep building like this until we get our blueberry to look the way we want okay so i'm going to get some of the pigment off my brush and tap in again I'm just going to keep building this while it's still wet. Now here we want to create the shape of this blueberry in front of it. So I'm going to just paint this with a reasonably sharp edge. Hopefully it won't bleed too much into that blueberry. And it is. So I'm just going to tap up a bit of the water because we want a sharper edge there. because we want to define that shape of the blueberry that's in front, okay? So again, just tapping pigment on, and I think I will draw a harsher line here to hold that shape as well. Now I'm going to take some deeper pigment and actually paint in this blueberry in the back. And I'm going to clean and draw off my brush and just kind of blend this out a bit. But it can still be kind of mottled. Okay, just like that. And I think at this point I will 
uh, let this dry. Actually, you can let it dry, but I'm going to use my heat tool to speed things up a bit. Okay, it's dry to the touch, so I'm going to go in with that deeper pigment again. That's really deep. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to mix that much. Ah, it's okay. It's all good because I will water it down, but I do want to go in and really get the shape of this blueberry here in the back and that so that will define the shape of the berry in front of it and same there. So I needed that to define that hard edge there. And I'm not big on this. So I want this one to be in front of that one. So I'm gonna kind of lift this. Just gonna scrub at this a bit. I wanna lift that pigment up a bit and get a better shape there. So I'm going to go into the heavy pigment and redefine this curve. Just like that. Okay. Now, while this area is dry, I'm going to do the same on this edge here. Okay, so I don't want to play with it too much. I also want to establish that little opening in the blueberry on this guy here. Okay, so that's that little hole that's in the bottom of the berry. And then I also want to indicate that there's one kind of here, but it'll be from the side view. Okay, so you just see the little kind of crown. It's kind of like a crown shape. And I'm gonna pick up some of that pigment and we can add to that later, but I just wanted to get that in there. And then we can also put one on the edge of this guy. just to indicate that it's there, but you're not gonna see it so clearly. Okay, so just like that. And then I think what I want to do is define this shape back here. Okay, so with a fair amount of pigment, I'm just going to put some shading in here and that'll define the edge of this blueberry even further. Then I'm going to rinse my brush, tap it off on my paper towel, and just kind of blend this out a bit. And you can tap some of it further out because you want that kind of modeled look for the blueberries. Okay, I also don't like the shape of that. I'm going to round this in a little bit. That's better. The shape of that blueberry had gone a little wonky and we're going to add more to the edge of this one to just give it more depth and then we'll let this layer dry i'm going to tap this out a little bit as well so we're just kind of building until we get it the way we want it so I'm gonna actually speed this up with my heat tool again. Okay, it's not completely dry, but we're going to move on to the leaves. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some sap green and I'm going to add a little bit of that indigo into that because I want it a little bit bluer. 
not indigo, sorry, ultramarine. So I'm adding some ultramarine deep into that green just to make it a little darker. And I'm going to take most of the, not most, I'm going to take some of the pigment off my brush and I'm going to do this stem. So I'm just going to hold my brush upright because I don't want a big heavy stem here. I can barely see where I drew it. Coming down to this blueberry here. Okay, and then I had it going to this guy down there. I'm just going to thicken this up a bit. And this isn't hyper realistic, so you don't have to fuss, you know, with the leaves too much. Then I had a little leaf here. So you want to make sure that you keep the shape of the blueberries when you do the leaves that are touching it. Okay, so if you want to use a smaller brush for this, by all means, um, it's just this brush has a pretty decent tip to it, so it's actually not too bad to use. I'm going to get a little bit more of the green on my brush. And that's going over that blueberry. And I want to keep the leaves fairly wet because we're going to put some veins in there as well. Then I'm going to go in and just get a little more of that pigment on my brush and just maybe tap in at the base of the leaves, maybe some on the edges, just to give it some shape. Whoops, I kind of screwed that up. I'm going to redo that edge. There we go. Just tapping in more pigment at the tip of this one here. You can even, you know, just do some veins down the middle, just a hint of some veining. I'm not going to get carried away with the leaves. You can even take the back of your brush and just draw lines down the middle with it. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And they should darken up once it sits. I don't know if I've got enough paint on here. There we go. The back of this brush isn't that sharp, so the lines aren't coming out as defined as I would like, but it gives you a little something in there. Then I'm going to clean my brush off. I'm actually going to go to my smaller brush. And I'm going to get some sepia on it, which is fairly dark brown, but I'm just going to water it down so it's not so dark. Okay, and I'm just going to tap some into the stem here. Okay, just so it's a little more realistic because it's not perfectly green. I'm sorry if I'm not <clears throat> um, explaining myself too clearly here. I'm battling a cold and my brain is kind of foggy. It's foggy. 
I'm just going to do little hits of brown here because the stems do have a little bit of brown here where they where the berries branch out of it. So there's our leaves. Okay, so while I've got this little brush, I'm going to go back into my green and actually just add a little bit more detail to the leaves in some areas just to give them some depth. Okay, so I'm just putting a little bit of that pigment on. Then I'm going to rinse off my brush, tap it off on my paper towel and just kind of blend this out. Okay, I just didn't want the leaves so flat looking. I could even try to paint in some veins here while I've got some pigment on my brush. Okay, just to give it a little something. Now I'm going to dry this with my heat tool. Okay, I see some areas here where I kind of goofed a bit here, so I'm just going to try to scrub this a bit and pick up this paint that got away on me there and here. If you get this quick enough, it's pretty easy to lift up. There's a little bit here too that I don't like. And a little bit here. That's what happens when you paint when you're groggy. Okay, so now we're going to go back into the blueberries. So back into that ultramarine deep. And I'm just adding in a little more Payne's Gray. Okay, and I'm going to just get a wash on my brush because I don't want to start off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get heavy pigment here. And I'm going to first put the shading in here because I want to fix up the shape of that blueberry. Okay, so I'm just putting in the deepest areas of shading. So that would be there and there. I don't like what I've done here. I've gone in a little or gone out a little too far. So I'm just going to soften that edge and that edge, but I don't want to bring it out too far. I want the bulk of the shading to be right close to that blueberry. And then I'm going to get a less pigmented blue on my brush. And I'm just going to add a bit more shading here. Then I'm going to take more pigment off and just start tapping in some darker areas. And I'm just tapping them because I want that mottled look. I don't want it like really soft and blended. Okay, I want that kind of dusty, patchy blueberry look. Okay, and I'll get more pigment on my brush and do the same thing to this blueberry here. So I'm just tapping it on. And then instead of blending it out, I'm tapping it out. So I'm cleaning my brush and just kind of tapping it and pushing it around. That one's pretty much done. Add some more shading to this one here. I'm not coming right up to that darker area. I want to leave a little bit of a highlighted edge on that. Okay, so I'm just tapping. I can put some more in here. And always err on the side of caution and use less pigment because you can always add more in rather than take it away. You can take it away if you work at it, but who wants to be bothered? Okay, so just tapping to keep that modeled look.
and I think that will about do it. So I'm going to go in and get deeper pigment on my brush and just deepen up this little crown part here. Maybe not that deep, but... And then I want it really dark on that main one. So adding some more Payne's Gray and I'm going to do the very center of this. And I'm not going to come up right up to the edge of that previous blue as well. And then I'm going to add some more blue to give this guy some more shape. Okay, maybe some down here. So I'm just playing at this point till I get it the way I want it to look. But don't overwork it or you will get rid of all that light blue and that's not the goal. So you can even go in and lift some up. I'm still not happy with the shape of the berries in there, but what are you going to do? I'm going to add more Payne's Gray to this to make it almost black. And I will deepen up this shadow just on the very inside. Okay, so just there. And maybe just on the very inside of this guy. And you can blend that out just a little bit, just so it's a little more realistic looking. Okay, and it's got a little light in the middle there, so I'm just going to Tap a little more pigment in there. And I'm just going to deepen it up. The shape's okay. I just want to add a little bit more uh, blue to these guys. Okay, so again, I'm not blending these right out. I'm kind of, I'm tapping it in. So we're trying to keep that modeled look all the time. Except where you want to kind of fix up the edge of a blueberry here. Now, I want to soften them up a little bit but not perfectly soft. So I'm just going to kind of push the paint around. Okay, making sure I keep some rough edges to the colors to keep that kind of dusty look. I can think, I, I can think. I think I want to add a little bit of tint to that. It was looking a little too dusty. There we go. I think what I will do though is go into that blue and just do another little kind of crown thing there to make this blueberry look like it's got that little crown thing on it and add a little pigment there. Well, let me take the tape off. So there you go. There is a sprig of blueberries. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it helpful. And as always, if you do give this a try and you're on Instagram, please share and tag me so I can have a look. That's it for today and I'll see you next time.